Hey guys, and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 17-inch uh, iMac G4. Um, I got it for pretty cheap, actually. I got it. Um, I got this, an iPod Classic 80 gig, and then a 2007 MacBook, which is pretty messed up, for $40. And uh, so today we're going to be reinstalling 10.4.11 onto it. This has the one gigahertz processor and the memory has been upgraded from uh, 256 to uh, oh, I like a 718 or something it has uh, a 256 megabyte stick which is the original one and a 512 megabyte stick so if I set this up and adjust the screen I got this computer, it was apparently a guy's grandmother's computer, and then when she passed away, he just kind of kept it and didn't really do anything on it, so I thought that was kind of interesting. And I haven't actually wiped it yet, so uh, we're going to do that now. So let's eject it, and I have it in a, oh, a very very odd shape right now. You can see it's facing this way, but the screen's going that way. Um, but yeah, I got this keyboard and mouse and the speakers with it, so that was pretty good. But yeah, I paid $40 for a bunch of stuff. Okay. So, I'll set this up so you can see what's going on on the screen-ish. I'll try to adjust it to the best of my ability. Alright, so, there we go, you should be able to see everything pretty well. So, I'm actually going to restart the computer. And, uh, so, yeah, this would, this will be the computer that I'm using if somebody wants me to, uh, just use an iMac G4 for a week, this, this will be the one that I use, um, because... It's the fastest one that I have, so um, it would definitely be a good, a good one to do it on. So uh, when I turned it on, I held down Option that gives you um, just the choice of what you want to boot into. So I want to boot into the CD. You could have also just press down C. I don't know why I didn't just do that, but, uh, oh well. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, if anyone's interested, I'm going to be selling my G4 Cube. It's the 500 megahertz in a 450 megahertz case. It is working. It does not come with a power supply, because I don't have it, because it died. But, it, um, it does work and it'll be sold as working. It's the 500 megahertz. Um, but yeah, it's in like extremely, extremely good condition. It has no scratches, basically. There's no cracking. It's just in very good condition. Oh yeah, another thing that I got with this computer, an eyesight camera. Now, this is not something that I was like, wow, it's an eyesight camera. Because if I come down here to where my computer is, I actually have one of them in the box. And you can see all my CDs sitting on top. Um, and I haven't actually tested this one yet, so maybe that's something we'll check at the end in this video. Okay, so it's almost done, booty. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's select English as the main language and get right into it continue continue actually wait so what we need to do now is well, I'll show you. yeah well you can see we need to initialize the hard drive so if I loosen the trap there we go so what you do is you go to utilities disk utility We're 
we're going to initialize the hard drive, or we're just going to partition it to a new partition, which will initialize it. So I didn't mean to do that. Uh, shoot, that's not what I want to do. We're going to call it Mac OS 10.4.11. Actually, no, we'll just do 10.4. And then we will hit the partition button, which will initialize it. So, there we go, and then it'll go now. So, yeah, there, you can see it's now went, and sorry for the barking, can't do anything about that. Um, okay, so, um, if you're wondering why I named it macOS 10.4, it's because um, normally when I do an install of, I can actually show you how in the next video, uh, normally when I do an install of Mac OS 10.4, I also do an install of Mac OS um, 9. So I named the one uh, partition Mac OS 9 and the other Mac OS 10.4. Uh, in this case, I didn't because it can't run Mac OS 9, I don't think. I think I looked at, uh, I don't know, option, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so then just continue, and then customize. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, don't need any of that. I'm actually gonna uncheck the printer drivers because I'm not gonna need that ever. <laughs> um, and then install, and it should check the DVD, or the install disk first. Yep, there you go, you can see it's checking the install DVD. And then it'll install, so I'll do like a, we'll come back to you once it's done getting installed. So this thing's just turning back on after the installation finished. I was too busy not paying attention to see that it had ended. Um, that's fine though, um, and I decided that since I had this thing out, I'd grab my G4 cube so I could show you um, exactly how good of the condition it actually is in. Um, so you can see that there's like some scratches, but overall not really that bad. Um, you can see again this side's in really good shape, really good shape really good shape top really really good shape um it's the 500 megahertz i think but it's in a 450 megahertz shell i don't know why the guy i bought it from said that it was a 500 but then i looked on the case and it said 450 and i was like are you sure and he's like yeah and then we turned it on and it said 500 megahertz so um, yeah, I don't really know what to make of that. Uh, it'll be sold as a 500 megahertz, I guess, because I don't know it said it was. I don't know, I'll figure it out. I think I'll list it for $400 or best offer. Canadian, so not that bad. Because it is working and it's in, like, very good shape. now just finished being set up and I'll press done and there we go this iMac G4 now is a fresh install of 10.4 and is uh, ready to be used if I'm gonna use it for a week so uh, thanks leave a like and subscribe if you like this video and if you want more videos like this one and uh, I guess I'll be uploading a new video in one or two days